Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Like all of her other palettes, this one retails for $42. It has got 14 shades. Um, you can get, as the name suggests, some really glam looks with the shimmers in this palette as well as this black. You can deepen it up and get a really smoky look. Or you can get everyday working looks with this as well. So I think it's a great um, option to have in your collection. Um, just a great go-to. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this eyeshadow look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have already set my eyelids using my um, Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's like my tried and true. This is one of the best that I have ever tried. So I have that on. I'm going to go ahead and set that now. And I figured that I would use a shade from the palette instead of my Wet n Wild Creme Brulee that I always use. So I'm going to go into the shade Tempura here. And I'm going to use my Luxie 249 brush. And you guys should know, um, when I'm doing an eyeshadow tutorial, any brush that I use will be listed and linked down below. Just in case you're interested in checking them out as well. Ooh. Yes, the shade is pigmented. As are most Anastasia eyeshadows. I have started to collect them. Um, I started with the Prism palette. I think the Prism came out before the Subculture. Basically I've got Prism, Subculture, and um, now I have the Soft Glam. And when Norvina comes out, I think it's, it's going to start being sold in Ulta July 29th. I will be getting that one as well because I really, really like that color story. Now, I'm bringing this shade all the way up to my brow bone because this is actually going to be my brow bone highlight. Um, I like it. It's just a nice, light uh, matte shade. And those tend to be the types of shades that I like to highlight my brow bone with. I don't really like to use anything that is shimmery in that area. Okay. So... The next shade that I'm going to be going in with is Orange Soda, right here. And I'm going to be using my Ben uh smudge brush. This brush I cannot replace. I, um, <laughs> it is like a must in every single eye look that I do. Like when I mentioned this in my favorites, I was not exaggerating at all. So I'm just going to put this all into the crease, and I'm not being precise with this at all. Um, I really just kind of want to get this in that general area. And then we will go back in. I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange after this and kind of deepen the crease up. But this is just like my transition shade. It's not too far off from my skin tone. Um... So it'll just help everything blend nicely. And using this palette, that would always be basically the um, way that I would start. I would use tempura to set my primer, and then I would always probably go in with orange soda because that is just what makes sense for my skin tone, or if you're a skin tone similar to me. So, now we've got that part done. Now I'm going to go in with my IBY Beauty Brush. It's the eyeshadow fluff brush. I actually got this from my Ipsy bag for July. And so far I've really been liking it. So, like I said, I'm going to go in with that burnt orange shade. And you can tell, like, this palette does not have fallout. There is nothing in this pan that I just dipped into it. So... I am going to uh, dust that off just by doing like this, just because I 
Anastasia eyeshadows are pigmented. Like you can see how pigmented that is and I applied a very little bit. If I would not have dusted that brush off, um, it would have been too much pigment for what I want. So, it's just a good tip to know if um, you're not aware of that. So again, I'm just going to tap it off and apply that like right into the crease whereas with the transition shade I applied it all over the crease this I'm literally putting like right where my eye crease is and then just kind of blending it out and I'm starting from the outer edge over here and going down and over just in windshield wiper motions you don't want to start here because you don't want the depth to be right in the center of your eye. You really want it to be on the outside to kind of open your eyes up. So that is where wherever you place the brush that's going to be where you have the most pigment. Okay now I'm going to go in with, what am I going to go in with? I am going to take my eye fluff brush from Inspur. You guys see this name brand? This is another brush that I got in my Ipsy bag and I really like it. I use it all the time. So I think I'm gonna try to do like a gold reddish type of look because the shirt I'm wearing, I think it would look good with that. So that's kind of why I pulled this palette for the look today. So I think I'm going to start off with the color Sienna, which is this kind of like rusty red color here. I'm going to apply that, and again, I'm going to dust it off. If you've never worked with Anastasia eyeshadows, they are very pigmented. Alright, so I'm going to put that on like the outer third of my lid, just so I can get that red kind of going, and then I will bring it up into the crease just ever so slightly. Okay, so you can see what that's looking like. This part is where I'm going to put that super pretty shimmer shade. And see, I did not dust this off. And now this side is hella pigmented, which is fine. I just, now I'm going to have to go in and deepen this side up. <laughs> Her shadows are so pigmented. And when I haven't worked with them for a while, I just forget sometimes. Okay. But they blend so nicely. Anastasia palettes are one of my favorites. I think she's just got really unique colors. Um, I just really enjoy it. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with that Bean Gotches brush and I'm just going to blend those edges together. There is nothing on my brush. It's a bare brush. I'm just going in and blending. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with bronze, this color here, and I'm going to try it. I, I haven't really dipped into this color out of this palette yet. Um, I'm going to try it dry, and hopefully we don't get a lot of fallout. If we do, I will go in and spray my brush. Um, you can spray it with a setting spray, or you can just use water, whichever you, know, you have on hand. Okay, this is like super glittery. So, I mean, not glittery, it's like shimmery, and there is some fallout on this shade, but it seems like it's a lightly pressed shade, so that would be why you're seeing that kick up. Anytime you have like a lot of kick up on a shade, that is most likely the reason. It's just pressed lighter into the pan so that more pigment comes up. 
Okay, so this looks, you guys see that? Looks okay. Um, I am, I think I'm going to wet it and see what that looks like. So I'm going to use my Ulta Dewy Makeup Setting Spray. I'm just going to give it a little shake. I am going to dip into that color again and then I'm going to spray my brush. see how this goes. Oh yeah, that holds the color together a little bit better. Woo! Okay, now we're talking. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So pretty. Okay. So now that that is done, you can see this this gold looks a little bit darker over here so I'm gonna apply a little bit more I think and again I'm just gonna spray my brush oh, so freaking pretty Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little brush, this is an IBY Beauty brush as well, and this is the little crease brush. Can you tell how tiny this is? Um, I'm going to go back in with that burnt orange color because I feel like whenever I applied the gold I kind of lost a little bit of that in the crease. I'm going to go in with this very detailed brush and just apply that again just to that crease area and I really like this brush because you can really place the color exactly where you want it so And I mean, it doesn't have to be this exact brush, just any brush with that general shape where you can blend, um, but it's also just not big in diameter. That's really what you want for work like this. Okay. That is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to bring that like orange back a bit. Okay. Now, again, I am going to go in with that smudge brush and I'm just going to go around the edges. And that is really the key with doing a good eye look is just take your time and blend things out. You don't want to just stick some color on there. You really, that that is the key. Just blend. Okay. And as long as you're working with good shadows, um, which don't have to be expensive, by the way, the little Maybelline palettes, the little City Minis, those are bomb. Um, as long as you're working with good shadows, I mean, you shouldn't be blending forever should be fairly easy to blend out the edges. Okay. So, there we go. Nice and blended. The next thing that I'm going to do is go in with the shade that we are going to deepen everything up with. I did have a little bit of like 
shimmer from that bronze shade. Um, the fallout was not crazy at all, um, but that is something to mention. Like you can probably see the shimmer that was just around the pan. So just something to know going in. Um, okay, so the next shade I'm going to go in with is Mulberry, and I love this shade. Just like a dark, dirty, cranberry looking shade. I freaking love it. And I'm going to go in again with that little IBY Beauty crease brush. Um, just so I can get it exactly where I want. Okay, so... I am going to start like fluffing this out just on the very very outer edge over here and I'm going to like fluff it inwards okay dip in tap it off and start at that very outer edge again and just fluff it inwards Ooh. and it's okay if it looks like see over here it kind of looks a little bit messy we are going to clean that up don't worry about it okay so once you get the intensity that you want I'm going to take that smudge brush one more time and just blend everything together. Okay. And another tip for just a, you know, a decent eye look is to start with a little bit of product. You can always build color up. It is much harder to, you know, lighten things up once you've applied too much. So that would be another tip. It's just start slow, build it up. All right, and this brush, oh my God. You need this brush, like I don't, <laughs> I don't care. It, um just anything you have going on that you don't want there this picks it up perfectly but it still leaves the color it's magical it really is um okay so at this point the eye lids are done the next thing i'm going to do is the lower lash line so i'm going to keep it pretty simple like i'm not going to do anything super crazy um I'm going to take that IBY eyeshadow fluff brush again and I'm going to go in with just this flat side and what color am I going to use? I think I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in with the orange soda, that, that color that we used for the transition and I'm going to put that just all over the lower lash line. Just all over. And because the shade is so light, it really doesn't matter if it is perfect. Now, the next shade that I'm going to go in, I am going to use again that IBY little crease brush and the next shade I'm going to go into is burnt orange and this one I'm going to apply about two well about halfway I just always like to do like a gradient effect Okay. And then the last color that I'm going to go in with is that mulberry shade. Again, using that crease brush. Okay. 
and I'm just going to keep that on like the outer third. And at this point, we are just about done. The last thing that I have to do is just the inner corner. And I think I'm going to go in with Fairy, the shade right here. I'm going to take my small shader brush from Luxie. This is the 245. And just going to apply that right to the inner corner. I do wish they had like a champagne shade in this palette. It's just like light golds. Um, so I mean it's fine, I just would prefer if they had some type of champagne shade. Okay, and then I'm also going to connect from the inner corner to where um, some of those uh, bottom lash line shades were. Just like that very like front third I guess you would say. It's just going to brighten the eye, open it a little bit more. Alright, so this is the finished eye look guys. I'm going to pop on some mascara and then um, I'll be right back so we can see what the finished look is. Alright guys, this is the final eye look. I've got all of my makeup applied. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.